Congratulations, what an emotional send off. And I wanted to know from you two, do you guys recall the first time the Cullens met and bonded? Yes. yes. <laughs> Very much so. I, was, uh, yeah. Well, well what was the it airport, yeah. first of all, on the airplane, I was sitting next to James, the Cam. Uh huh, uh, Cam Gigande. Cam Gigande, and you were sitting right behind me, I think, with Peter, and I think Ashley yeah. was on the plane. And then we had a day where we all rehearsed for the first time, which is when we met Rob and I met Kristen, and, and uh, we were at the Cullen House, and that was our very first rehearsal, at least for me. Yeah, I remember um, getting to the airport and seeing this really handsome young man with a guitar, Jackson Rathbone. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if he was even in the films at the time because we were all sleeping. It was like 5 in the I morning. I did. I was like, that one's in That's the film. That's in the movie. <laughs> and the stewardess told him that he couldn't take his guitar on the plane. So I stood up and he was very polite and I walked over to her and I was like, here's the deal, miss. This guitar has to make it on the plane. It's a, clearly a very expensive guitar and you can't just have this young man check that you guys could break it. I mean, and yeah. Jackson looked at me and he was like, we're going to be friends. <laughs> so sweet. But it's great. I mean, you all really did become a family. And I can't mm -hmm. even imagine what the last day was like. Man, I'm getting sad thinking about it. It oh, really was not a sad day, though, to be honest with you, because we were filming. It was a happy day. Yeah, it was like a staggered ending as yeah, well. Yeah, we had it all wasn't... had separate rap days. Yeah. You know, movies are so weird like that. You don't all end at the exact same time. Yeah, so we were finding out people had finished, like, a week prior, and it was you didn't even get to say goodbye. So we kind of let yeah. go of the thought of any goodbyes happening and kind of just put it off that that was even the end of anything. Yeah. yeah. There's no question that the driving force to these films are the fans. And I wanted you to, I'm doing a half hour special on this and looking back at all the interviews we've done over the years. <laughs> Can you look to the camera and just, this is your last chance, just say what you want to the fans for supporting you guys? You want to go first? Um, I don't know which camera I'm looking at, but I'll just look at one of them. Uh, <laughs> I, it's hard to find the words to describe what this journey and experience has been for me personally in my life and I, I'm so aware of the role you guys played in this and, and how important it was to have your support and every step of the way, you know, we were never expecting this thing to continue. Um, even after the second and third film, it was like constant, we were constantly surprised by, by your passion and enthusiasm. So thank you for making this happen for us. Thank you. <laughs> I want to thank the fans for making this at all possible. I mean, these movies are for you and because of you. Because of you, we got to make them and keep making them. And for me personally, I've never had a, um, such an intimate experience with fans. And this movie has sort of changed the way I relate to my work as an actress and the way that I relate to, to the audience. So thank you. Well, congratulations. I'm sad that I won't be talking about these movies anymore, but we will be talking about other films, I know for sure. So great Thank meeting you. you ladies, and best Thank of luck you. with everything. And have fun at the premiere. Oh, Thank yeah. You.